Hi everyone, welcome to online class 7. In this video, I am going to discuss about a problem. Uh, this problem is related to the to the borehole data. So we will be trying to find out the thickness of the seam from the given data. That is, uh, we will get, we'll be getting the borehole data. So we will be getting the apparent thickness and the inclination of the seam from the borehole data by which we will be calculating the actual true thickness of the seam. So let's begin the lecture. So this is the image I, I would like to show you. So the word, uh, red color line is actually a borehole and uh, this one is your seam and these green lines are actually horizontals and the orange line is the actual thickness of the seam. So AD is the apparent thickness and DC is the true thickness. So let's see. For example, we are seeing at the bottom at the D the, that is the inclination of the seam so that is theta so we will be getting the inclination from the borehole data so if that is theta so this is a right angle triangle so if um, if this is theta and this is a right angle triangle then then this angle will be 90 minus theta because that is a right angle triangle the green line is making a uh, 90 degrees with the vertical so 90 minus theta will be that angle so now uh, what will be the angle a d c so if you see this c d is uh, making a right angle here this is also a right angle so if that is a right angle this is also a right angle so if that is a right angle the angle a d c will be equal to theta how it will be so just see here so 90 minus 90 minus 90 plus theta so 90 90 will be get cancelled and this angle will be theta so the simple uh, thing you have to remember is if the inclination of the seam is given imagine that this angle is given if this is given this is uh, the value it will be obviously so this angle will be equal to this angle so remember that and we can come from the other side also you'll be getting a doubt that uh, can i place the angle at this point so in the next figure i'll be showing that also so the angle adc is equal to theta okay so please remember this and in the next uh, image we'll be starting from the top at the c uh, at a so if this is the inclination of the seam with respect to the horizontal that is theta so the uh, uh, angle at um, c a d will be 90 minus theta because the green line is making a 90 degrees angle with the uh, red line so those two are vertical and horizontal lines if that is 90 minus theta so see this solution so in triangle a d c the sum of the interior angles will be equal to 180 so angle a d c plus angle d a c plus angle d c a is equal to 180 degrees so see the solution obviously you will be coming the it uh, the angle a d c will be equal to theta so whatever the method you use you start from the top or you start from the bottom the angle a d c will be equal to the inclination of the seam so that is the angle made by the vertical of the seam with the borehole will be always equal to the inclination of the seam so this is the basic factor you have to remember so moving on so things to remember in this figure so see i have just already told you ad is equal to the apparent thickness the thickness is ad is not the true thickness because ad is uh, obtained from the drill hole it is not a true thickness it is uh, giving certain other value the true thickness is uh, dc uh, or cd so that is the true thickness or it is also called a stratigraphical thickness and uh, the theta is dip of the seam it can be here or here so obviously we are considering at this point okay I just, we have just seen that so next I am going to take a small problem a vertical borehole passing through a seam of coal which is known to dip at 50 degrees so he told that there is a borehole passing through a seam of uh, having a dip of 50 degrees with the horizontal if the apparent thickness of the seam ascertained from the core so he is telling that the apparent thickness of the seam which we obtained or ascertained from the uh, core is 8.6 meters 
what is the true or stratigraphical thickness of the seam he is asking us to find out the stratigraphical or true thickness of this seam so solution uh, this is the given data dip of the seam that is theta is equal to 50 degrees apparent thickness ad is equal to 8.6 meters uh, what we had found out cd that is a true thickness so you can see in the image also we have to find out the length of cd here so in triangle adc we are going to apply some basic trigonometry so cos of angle adc or cos of theta adc is directly theta we just solved in the previous slides so cos of angle adc is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse cos theta is equal to adjacent by hypotenuse that is dc by ad dc is the true thickness ad is the apparent thickness so now dc is equal to substitute the values uh, apparent thickness is ad is equal to 8.6 and the cos of 50 so we'll be getting the true thickness as 5.52 meters so that's all thank you